Hey guys, so as you know, visual scripting in Unreal Engine is very powerful now today. But if you are a person who is very concerned about performance and um, writing complicated math without making a chaos spaghetti of blueprint, or you just want to use functions or interfaces that are not yet um, exposed to blueprint. Um, the solution is that you can use both Blueprint and C++ in your project so that you can still make use of the powerful visual scripting language while maintaining a decent performance and writing a cleaner code uh, with C++. Alright, so first you will want to create a uh, project with C++. So I will choose the uh, I will choose a blank template here and so for the option here, I will choose C++ and I will name the project uh, Blueprint CPP and create project. Awesome. So when your project is successfully created, uh, you should see a window of your Unreal Engine as well as the uh, Visual Studio window. Um, so the first thing I would like you guys to do is to create a C++ class and for this tutorial we were just going to create a actor class I will name it yeah my actor is great um, and then we'll choose a public property here so that our engine will place uh, the CPP and the H file in different folder and then create a class Alright, so when created successfully, you should see two files, um, the cpp and the .h file. Alright, so the next thing uh, I want you to do is to create a, uh, a blueprint chart of this uh, actor. So go into your cpp classes and then public and then click on the my actor and create blueprint class based on my actor. Then we will choose the folder to, to store it. I will choose the footprint here. And I will name it BP My Actor. Create footprint class. Um, now we have the BP My Actor here. I'm gonna place this in uh, our scene like this. And then to test out the communication between the blueprint and the C++ class, I will first create a variable for the actor. So uh, we have protected. So in here we can use both protected or public because we would want to uh, expose a variable to all of its child classes. For instance, this uh, blueprint classes because uh, this this is a child class of my actor class uh, that we just created and now I will create a variable called uh, bool b is active I save all and then we will build so when the build is succeeded uh, go to your blueprint version of the of the actor and then we will show the inherited variable and we can see that there is nothing here yep just as expected um, uh, it is because in Unreal Engine if you want to expose a variable to a blueprint you will need to add a specifier for it so first you will want to write a u property macro above uh, the variable and then if you go to the online uh, documentation here uh, you can see that uh, there are a bunch of uh, specifiers for the U property and then as you can see here if you want a property to be read uh, or written from a blueprint we will need to uh, add a blueprint read write specifier to the U property macro like this and then we will just compile and then it should appear in the proofing panel here yep but i don't want it to be categorized at the my actor but i want to create my own um, category then i will type category equal 
um, test like this and then just compile all right so as you can see the variable is now under the test uh, category um, this is useful when you want to uh, group and organize your variables all right so awesome um, but but I want this variable to be uh, exposed to the glass uh, default panel here uh, because as you can see now we can't find it in the uh, details panel so I would just go to the uh, uh, online documentation and find the specifier for it um, alright so as you can see we have the edit anywhere and visible anywhere right here yep so with the visible anywhere specifier we're gonna test this right now um, visible anywhere and compile you can see it's uh, the variable is now exposed to the details panel here but uh, I can't I cannot edit it so once again we'll go to the online documentation and find the proper specifier for it and here we have the edit anywhere so we're gonna replace uh, the visible anywhere with the uh, edit anywhere and then compile and now as you can see we can uh, edit the value of this variable here we're now moving on to creating function in the C++ class so uh, quite similar to creating a variable we're gonna call the u function macro because we will want to expose the uh, function to the blueprint. And now I'm going and now I'm gonna create a function called um, testing function. All right. And then in the CPP file, I will call the testing function in the begin play event like this and i'm gonna compile this all right so we have an issue here uh, this is because we haven't declared this function in the cpp file yet so now i'm gonna click on this little button here and create definition of testing function in the cpp file and then save and now we should be able to compile without any error yeah so now if you want to call this uh, function in the blueprint class you simply can't you can't do it it's because it's missing a specifier right so in the function specifiers here we have the blueprint callable so we're just gonna add it to the uh, to the your function macro and then compile and now you should be able to call it yep like this awesome all right so what if you want to uh, implement this function in the blueprint class instead of the C++ class it's very simple uh, you just need to add a uh, blueprint implementable event and replace uh, the callable one and save but before you compile, you will need to you will need to delete the definition of the function in the CPP file because if I don't do it um, and compile, it will come up with the error. Yeah. So we need to remove it and then save compile. Now in the blueprint class, um, we're gonna go to the functions tab here and override. Uh, override the testing function awesome now we're just gonna I'm just gonna print string hello so um, as we uh, place the actor in the scene here so if I play it should print hello so as you can see we call the function in the begin play event in the CPP class so we don't need to uh, call it again in the uh, in the blueprint version of it. And now here come another question. Um, 
what if I want to implement uh, the function logic in the C++ but also in the in the proofread version well for that you will need a um, specifier called uh, blueprint native event so with this you can implement part of the part of the logic in the cpp file and then you can implement the rest of the logic in the blueprint uh, class so first we're gonna replace the implementable event with the native event and then uh, we're gonna need to create a void testing function and add the implementation like this for the function all right so because in the uh, documentation here you can see that uh, we need to uh, add the implementation to the end so basically when you call the testing function in the proof class it will first call the implementation of the function in the cpp class then um, for the rest of the logic the proofing class so what i mean by that is uh, if uh, if create a def bit in the class find the value for the variable true in the implementation uh, version i will change the value of the is active uh, variable to false right and then once again if you want to call this function in the blueprint class you will need to add a, a specifier which is the blueprint callable yep yep now um gonna override the uh, testing function in blueprint class uh, and then uh, in here I will print the the value of the variable so it should be false because we have changed uh, the value of it the uh, CPP file I save uh, and delete function call it in blueprint version of testing right i save if i hit play it should be blue All right that's the way ah <laughs> uh, yeah 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 my bad uh it's because i haven't called to the parent function this node here will act like the uh, super in the uh, in the cpp file so i'm gonna call it next this I'm safe. They most yep. All right, so uh, here you go, the uh, proofread native event. So now the final thing I want to show to you guys is that, um, for example, if we call the get controller, get player controller here. So how how can we call this node in the in the C++ file? So if we try to call it uh, like we did in the uh, blueprint, can uh, get a uh, hold on. Yep, there's no function like this, right? So now we uh, gonna go to the blueprint and then hover the mouse to the node. You can see the target is the uh, gameplay statics, right? So uh, in here, I'm gonna search for you gameplay. Oh, yep. Here you go. So with this class, we will need to include the .h file, the cpp, uh, the cpp file, like this. Then in here, we're gonna search for the game. This right, 
So now in the beacon play, we will call the statics and add voila. And then we will pass in the uh, world, get world. And then the player index will be zero, uh, like we did uh, in the blueprint. This uh, the player index here. So here you go. Um, this is all the basic communication between uh, D plus plus uh, class and blueprint class. And I will see you in the next video.